Good morning everybody, it's Paul here from Rio Driving School and today I'm bloody pissed off. Shouldn't say that, should I? But I am. Ethan here, my mate, he, um, he had a driving test booked for this morning and um, an examiner is unavailable for that assessment. Um, it's a bad situation because the DVSA then rebooked Ethan in for Friday and I'm not even in town on Friday, I'm somewhere else entirely so I can't do that test um, which leaves us in a bit of a pickle uh, today trying to turn a, a negative into a positive I thought I would put Ethan through that test um, but it's going to be my test this morning it'll be called the super test and I'm going to try to uh, do my best to make Ethan trip up but I'm so sure that Ethan is going to be successful today we've actually got his test pass certificate ready <laughs> <laughs> so uh, yeah we're, we have got a test pass certificate on the line today um, and it really is a shame that these things happen but it's beyond my control um, and, and so uh, with that what we're going to do today Ethan is we're going to do a driving test the normal driving test is 38 to 40 minutes long mm -hmm. one manoeuvre possibly the emergency stop I'm going to make a route up today and I'm going to put you under as much pressure as I can remember there's nothing really here on the line today use it as a learning experience <coughs> Yes, I can tell you're stiff already, you're feeling anxious because this uh, is being filmed. Um, but kind of take away from this experience that um, it's going to be a little bit like the real thing in the sense that you've got two cameras and my eyes on you today instead of just the examiners. So yeah. it could be even more intense. Um, yeah, I've got... Yeah, how do you feel about it? And how, how do you feel about the uh, the test being cancelled and everything? What are your thoughts now? What, and what's your plan? What are you going to do? Obviously, it's horrible because I can't get it done. I just want to get out of the way, but I'm going to have to just deal with it now. Gonna yeah. Find another... He's going to get himself a car, <clears throat> which I think is a great idea. He's going to get that insured and get out and practice. And we will resume classes as and when it's appropriate we might be looking for driving test cancellations mm -hmm. um, or even bite the bullet and wait till sometime in the future because um, he'll be back at the back back at the back at the bottom of the pile now waiting for driving tests to come up mm -hmm. um, if this happens to you guys I want a quick tip um, the DVSA do tend to release new test dates Monday mornings at 6 a.m. So if you get on your computer uh, and look for those new tests, um, yes, they are far out into the future. But if you if you book one of those tests, then you can potentially get that test swapped for a cancellation. So yes, it's mm. awkward because um, Ethan's got to decide: does he keep up with his regular training to keep himself on 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 the uh, on the bleeding end? of um, being sharp um, so that when that test cancellation comes in potentially in a week or two he'll still be ready or does he just um, continue on his own for a while and hope for the best anyway that's not my concern unfortunately but uh, what I want you to do now Ethan uh, yep. on this super test super is um, yeah just follow the road ahead at all times unless I ask you to turn left or right or unless mm -hmm. road signs or road markings indicate otherwise okay yeah drive on when you're ready oh. Oh. At the end of the road, turn right, please. It's really hard to see. Uh, 
at the end of this road turn left. sharper then wasn't it? Yeah. At the traffic lights continue ahead please. Yeah, okay. yeah just going back to that that other thing um, that that sharp bend um, locals call it the banana because it is a sharp bend uh, banana shaped. There's potholes all over it though. Yeah, Horrible. exactly. So you're going around it at what speed was you doing? About? 20. 20, third gear, yeah. potholes. It's also a <clears> lot <throat> of pedestrian activity around there. And if someone was to step out, I know you were looking on the approach, but if someone was to step out, it's more difficult to stop or slow down, isn't it? Yeah, I get that. light car don't worry about the paint on the road for this it's all right just for a moment okay mm -hmm. thank you deep breath yep drive on when you're ready <laughs> Okay, we're just going to pause there for a minute. I want to talk to you a little bit about something. So, when I asked you to pull over first time round, yeah. deliberately chose that busy road. We're not normally there this time of the day. 
when I asked you to get it going again I should have went because the cars were going that way anyway say that again give me your thoughts on it what would you have done differently if anything well if there's, if there's traffic coming the other way yeah. and they're waiting behind me I should go because it's okay like cool blocking them. was there a car behind you that already managed to get get round you when there was oncoming traffic or, or was was there a gap for him um I think he got round me he got round you was there other traffic coming towards us like that yeah therefore if if they're able to go and the oncoming traffic's <coughs> able to to come past as well mm. then we shouldn't inconvenience the vehicles behind us yeah with that signal the, the signal that you had on did you notice that the vehicle behind you flashed their lights to let you come out i didn't say that man i saw the vehicle behind as soon as you put your signal on that vehicle behind flashed the lights to let you go which isn't really you know normally a bad thing you're actually trying to move yourself out of the way of everybody but yeah. but and here's the tricky one with a bit of care he could have got round you as well as allowing oncoming vehicles to come past as well with, yeah. a, with a little bit of care mm -hmm. so if if the gap is only big enough for one vehicle to go around then then definitely you can go you should go but if the if if other cars behind you can get round you and cope with oncoming traffic coming as well yeah then you should wait okay all right yeah. bear that one in mind right. drive away when you're ready Traffic lights, follow the road ahead, please. Nice. Very nice, well done. <clears throat> At the next set of traffic lights, turn right. Signs for Warsaw. Lovely job, well done.
actually look behind me. It's very strange being able to look sideways now without having to turn yeah, my whole body. Probably. Yeah. It's amazing. It's like magic. Accelerating towards those traffic lights because I thought, I wonder, and I always wonder when I'm coming. Why did they change that? Oh, yeah, they're on a timer. But I always wonder when I'm coming towards traffic lights, are they going to snap? And if they are, if you're accelerating, it's terribly difficult to stop. So I would always cover the brake on the approach. Sure. I yeah. just cover the brake because then you're off the gas. If you're off the gas, you're not accelerating. The, uh, the natural compression of the engine is going to slow the car down a little bit yeah. but then when you apply brake pressure it's much easier to stop the car um, and sometimes you're going to have to stop the car abruptly if those lights change mm -hmm. unless you're practically right on top of the traffic light itself and then it'd be, of course that'd be dangerous to stop but yeah, just bear that one in mind. I want to be a, bit, a little bit more defensive and think what if, what if that light changes? Yep. Well done, that was perfect. 
Vector. Thank you kindly, well done. Um, so what we're going to do <coughs> next is I want you to bring the car forward, turn to the left, we're going to go into that pub there, the trooper. Oh, okay, yeah. We're going to go into the car park and then we'll be driving forward into a bay of your choice. Okay. It can't be too easy though, so I'm, I'm going to indicate it, I'm going to indicate whereabouts, but you'll get to choose the bay, all right? Um. <coughs> Oh. Yeah, drive on, you're ready. It's interesting, just stop there, mate. Hang on, handbrake back on. Right. Think about what you just did, just for a moment. I said, drive away when you're ready. What did you do? Exactly what did you do? Picture it in your mind. If I said to you now, and you did the same thing before, yeah. drive away when you're ready, what would you do? Oh, blind, I didn't. Right, you, you oh look... Oh my you, God, how did I... Well, you probably oh, would have done... Sick. Hang on a minute, don't, don't rush. You probably would have done, because you did check the blind spot before as well, mm -hmm. but you checked all the mirrors, you put your signal on, and then you were about to look into the blind spot, you were you were gonna release the handbrake, God check that block. Now, something made you stop, didn't it? When you looked, some you thought, "Hang on a minute, there's something there." Well, hang on for a second before before you're about to release that handbrake. Something made you think twice, but your indicator's already on. Your indicator is no. already on, and anyone coming up the road behind you <clears> will <throat> see that indicator and, and what may happen as a result. If the, car, if the car coming up the road behind you sees your indicator on but you're not moving, what might they do? Overtake. Might overtake or mm -hmm. what did the last one do? Slow down, flash their Wait. lights. Yeah. Now you've just inconvenienced somebody. Oh, for God's sake. So it's, right. it's the details. Look, <coughs> decide if you're going to go. If you are, then put the signal on. Okay. All right. All right. Just a little thing. Check all the way around, that's it. Because the indicating before you've checked your blind spot, we don't yet know if it's safe, do we? Oh, I don't know why I forgot that. If you, um, so annoying. If you do a left here, please. Yeah. Just take it steady as you go around this corner. And then go immediately left into the car park. And if you just pause there just for a moment. Okay, you may take any bay you like <coughs> on the right. Any of them over there? Yeah, if you want to go immediately right there, or you can go up there to the left, and then you've got bays on the right or the left. It's up to you where you park this thing. I'll just, I'll what, what I don't want you to do is to park in between those two vehicles over there. Because right. that, that'd be too easy. <laughs> Alright. Cool. All right. Ah, good man, well done. Excellent. Are you finished? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. Check everything. Look at your wheel. 
No, nah, wouldn't that be silly? <laughs> wouldn't that be silly? Oh my god, yeah. Sake. Yeah, you're in the space, it's beautiful, and I love the clutch control and, and your judgment and everything was perfect. You even chose a sensible spot well away from those other vehicles. And why make things difficult for yourself, you know, doing right. stuff on a gradient? You chose, you did everything right. I don't know make why I'm this. make so. sure, it's all right, it's because you're under pressure now, make sure the wheels are straight to finish. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, why is that important? Um, not, not just for your driving test, but in general, why would it be important? Just so it doesn't roll out or something. Well, if it was to roll, would, would the wheels at an angle be a problem? Yeah, because it would hit a vehicle on the left or right or something. Well, if the wheels were straight, you'd still go back towards that building, so that's still a bit of a problem, isn't it? Yeah. Right. Okay, well, I suspect the reason why it's a problem is a couple of things. Uh, number one, um, well, <laughs> there's all sorts really, but num number one, if you want to reverse the car later, you've gone in there, you've added your meal, you've come back out, you want to reverse the car, but you forget that the wheels are not straight, you're going to swing straight into the vehicle that's parked next to you. Oh, yeah, that kind of makes sense. Yeah. Number two, if the vehicle, if you can't get it started later, Mm -hmm. and the AA come out and they can't get it started they're going to have to drag your car off the car park onto the back of their van if the wheel is not straight what's it yeah. going to do to your steering yeah I know what you mean I'll just go ahead um, let's think <clears throat> about sympathy for the elderly people for a minute I heard a terrible story of an old lady uh, in Tesco and she uh, she was uh, trying to squeeze through a gap between two parked cars and she caught her leg on a wet wheel that was covered in grit and it scratched all the skin off her leg and now she's got leg ulcers. Lovely. All for the Thanks sake of getting those wheels straight. Yeah, so yeah, I don't know, you know, make sure the wheels are straight. Mm. All right, mm -hmm. cool. Now reverse the car out, please. to the exit and then we shall be turning right here hang on stop stop hmm? stop oh is it because i'm on the wrong side yeah oh you're now on the, you're now why am i doing this i don't know why i'm doing this oh. because you're under pressure that's why you're doing it well i might as well you're, continue you, now you're all right yeah carry on and then turn, turn left please Pressure is for tyres, not for you. Oh, that's, that's terrible. <laughs> that's funny. Learn how to deal with it.
the end of the road, turn right please. It's pretty bad, isn't it? to look at the sign, we need to head towards Tamworth. Four seconds. 
yards away from the car and that might be in front of you right now. Well, oh, I just can't help. Follow the road ahead, please. Round about. road on the right please. Take the next road on the right. Wipers off, engine off, and breathe. Oh, look at them. Don't worry about that. <sighs> How was that then? 38 minutes ish. That was bad. Why? Why was it bad? Talk I to me about it. I just did so many little mistakes that I wouldn't normally do. That's the nature of being uh, in an assessment. Under pressure. Yeah. Um, you know, when you're. <clears throat> under pressure of any sort whether that's a job interview and you think why did i say that or why did i forget to mention this or any situation where you're under pressure yeah you you you're going to find yourself unless it's well well rehearsed you're going to find yourself doing things you wouldn't normally do mm -hmm. so what kind of things have have you learned today or or, or have, did you know everything? You just, just not happy with the performance. What happened? Um, and specifically, what? The only thing that I probably should have done better was um, when I indicate when I'm about to pull off, okay. instead of just keeping it on. Other than that, everything else I should have just done. I don't know why. Yeah. This comes to that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, so annoying. So let let's come back to a couple <clears throat> of things that I saw today. So mm -hmm. let let's look at the. The more serious aspects of it all right so yeah. the first time we pulled over i deliberately chose a busy spot mm -hmm. deliberately and you're wondering can i go can i go um and you've got your signal on you've got your you've got your signal on now i liked the thinking behind it for the most part you were you were thinking i believe tell me if i'm wrong but you were thinking I'm in everybody's way here. If I, if I, if only I just move out of the way, everybody else behind me can start moving as well. That's not what I did, yeah. Yeah, and ordinarily, <clears throat> that would be great. But one person went round you when there was cars coming. Mm. That means everybody could do it. Yeah. That leaves a question mark now on my, in my mind as to. Did they hold back because your signal was on, or did they hold back because they weren't as brave as the first car? I don't know. Yeah, me, me neither. Mm. I'm not quite sure. So, I'm. It goes now. Let Let's take that thinking and and take it to the second time we pulled over. And you checked around. You didn't check your blind spot yet. I'm sure you would have done though, because you yeah. don't you don't normally no, forget to do that. But you checked your mirrors. You put your signal on, and then you presumably would have checked your blind spot. I should have yeah. waited to see, really. But 
it goes to that again we don't yet know until you've checked your blind spot we don't yet know if we are going to move or not because you might mm -hmm. see something that causes you to wait no so i would not be using signals <clears throat> to pull away because it could cause somebody to have to make a decision they shouldn't have to make mm -hmm. yeah so yeah. You, you know that cool um yeah it was interesting on the car park he did a lovely job with the the hard bit and then i just i went the opposite I, on the wrong uh, side of the road i was the, really thinking about other things that just that just went out of my brain <laughs> that yeah. that happens um at another car park very very common mistake um yeah mm. well it's giving you a, a little bit of a wake-up call because uh I, I don't think you'll make that mistake again it's wow. something you don't normally do anyway for me that was it really those those were the the issues now do you want to know something interesting and it bugs the hell out of me um about what i do was it about the about the use of signals uh -huh. some driving instructors would say to you it's perfectly okay to put your right signal on and then wait to pull out when it's safe yeah which creates another question mark over my head. Would would that have been what you did earlier? Would that have been marked as a serious fault or not? And I think that would come down to the individual examiner. Yeah. Some examiners sure. will be like, yeah, fair enough. He's trying to tell people he's trying to pull away. If someone yeah. wants to let him pull out, then that's fine, isn't it? But it's not fine for some examiners, and it certainly won't be fine for mm -hmm. me. And it's not fine on an advanced driving test that kind of standard that i'm trying to get you at so that it's watertight when you do your test it's watertight you've, you've left no questions in anybody's mind yeah that's it so did you pass today or didn't you pass today no because of that uh, indicator well some <clears throat> examiners would let you get away with it some wouldn't mm -hmm. so now we're at the mercy of the examiner <laughs> And then the other thing is being on the wrong side of the road when you exited the car park. I don't know why I did that. I just, I don't know. I ain't got a clue. I don't have a reason for it. Hey, never mind. Don't worry about it. Yeah. It, 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 it is interesting, isn't it? I know you, you weren't particularly keen on having it filmed this morning, this, this little thing. But I, I just thought, let's, let's take what we can from, from this uh, situation that you're in and uh, get something out of it at least yeah at least you've not had to spend a lot of money with the driving test to find out um you haven't passed today because you, you put the car on the wrong side of the road mm. never mind i'll just do that next time you will no, do and pass. i'm sure i'm yeah. sure you'll pass first time i'm, I'm mm. sure you will it's just one of those things anyway yep. guys um yeah what are your questions and thoughts about that i'd like to know um what you think and does your driving instructor tell you to use a right signal while you're stationary ready to pull away uh, and are they asking you to put that signal on and then start looking or are you looking first deciding to move and putting a signal on to tell everybody that you're actually going to move um subtly different but very very important in my opinion i'd like to know your <coughs> opinions on that as well um but yeah that's it so please leave your questions and comments down below and i'm on to the next one i'll see you soon